This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, out to San Francisco, California, we go for the lovely strains of Larry Bubbles Brown. Hello, Bubbs. <laughs> yeah, it's a holiday. Happy holidays, which I know we both hate. So Yeah, yeah. Well, happy holiday to you, too. And uh, uh, let me ask you a question. You were supposed to go get uh, your um, eyes done, right? Yeah, this is a bad story. So uh, it's a bad story. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, well, mind you, I told him that getting uh, this is what uh, for uh, cataract. Uh, cataract. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Bubbles Brown is with us. He is uh, the uh, author of the book "We're All Gonna Die." <laughs> Yeah, last time but, we were talking. we'll suffer great pain before that happens. Last time we were talking, we were talking about, you know, people who had died uh, uh, prematurely in many cases. And uh, you were mentioning Dan Blocker died of a gallbladder operation. Uh, you know, I mean, who get, who dies from gallbladder operations? Yeah. You, you know? You know, I mean, there's always that any type of surgery that can't happen, I guess. But yeah, we always are very upbeat about this, ladies and gentlemen. Whenever you hear me say Larry Bowles Brown is going to be with us, <laughs> just zip through. You can zip through to the file, zip through past us. Otherwise, you're going to be really depressed. You know. But what were you saying about you? You, you said something to me before we went on here about do I? I ever, well, we I, we were talking about Robin. I said, do you ever worry about dementia and? Uh, what? <laughs> um, I don't worry about dementia, although, you know what it is? I take this pill. It's called pregabalin. It's a Jerry Lewis drug. You don't get to have a real dr I don't trust any drug that Jerry Lewis would not have said. Yeah, you said this makes you feel loopy. Yeah, th so this makes me feel loopy, but it also makes me forget stuff. And sometimes I'm sitting here and I'm going, okay, i got to start talking to Larry, and now I've got to press a button here to get the thing to record. How do I do that again? You know, I've done it a million times. Yeah. So I, it kind of makes me worry about depression, about, about uh, dementia. But uh, then again, it doesn't because if I stop it, all of a sudden all this stuff comes back easily, you know. So I know what it maybe is like because of the drug, but I don't have it, and I don't really, I don't necessarily worry about it, you know. I'm more worried about it with my wife. She has um, uh, memory issues lately. Oh, know? really? Yeah, yeah, and I would hate to see that happen to her because then I'd have to, like, wipe her ass every time she shit. <laughs> you know, and I'm a selfish son of a bitch. I don't want to have to do that, you know. Uh well, men, we're not good caregivers. So. Well, I, I'm not a good, I'm not a great caregiver. But if I had to be for her, I would be. You know what I'm saying? There's some things you got to do that you don't want to do. That makes sense. Yeah, I guess you. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I would be horrible at that. So. I mean, I've had, I've had friends who have had husbands who were dying. You know, and they were there taking care of them. Uh, you're right, though. Guys are not great at that. No. Guys are not great at something else. Uh, the guys are not great, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, guys are not great at uh, um, uh, going to doctors. We don't like going to doctors. You know? My wife is saying, oh, listen, you're having trouble, you're breathing a little bit, we've got to send you to a pollenologist. And I'm going, well, I don't know if it's that bad. I think it's all the dust and stuff from the work they're doing out here. 
which you can probably maybe hear a little bit of buzzing going on outside. Uh, and, and, you know, I'm not going to a pollinologist for that. She has, I swear to you, if I went over and looked at her calendar right now, she has at least like two or three doctor appointments a week. The little women love that. And yeah, she's, we, uh... it, but she's not dying of anything, but she's got two to three doctor's appointments a week. Well, I'm going we, we actually wait till we're dying before we'll go. Guys are do, do not like going to doctors, you know. Um, uh, I mean, if you're really sick, then you go to a doctor. If I felt I was on the edge of dying, I would go see him, you know. But she, God, I mean, she gets a hangnail. She goes to the hangnail doctor, you know. And it, it, it. Uh, she, she's amazing, and she's always yelling at me. You don't go to the doctors enough, and I'm going. I don't want to go to the doctors, you know. I, I know we have insurance, but I don't want to use it all up. That means I'm sick, you know. <laughs> so I mean, um, but guys are 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 really don't like going to doctors, but women do, and I don't know what that is. I don't know what there is in the female component. That you know makes that uh, makes that uh, happen. Do you hear that pounding? Yeah, it sounds like a dog barking. See, they're they're working outside. This is this thing they've been doing. Oh, that cleaning they're doing. Uh, yeah, they they're doing it's it's called uh, uh, pointing. Uh, it's like an Irish setter pointing. Um, it, but what they do is they you know in a brick building. They literally go to all in between all the bricks and remove all the uh, cement. And then, where they're bad the bricks, they replace those, and the re good bricks stay there. But they just put in new, new, new stuff. And they've been doing this. It's been going on for at least a year, that or a year and expensive. a half. Oh, you know what's expensive? All the buildings in New York where you work. I don't know if they do this in California. Uh, stop it! Uh, anyway, um, uh, where you work, um, where they're working, they put up this uh, scaffolding around the building so that if, like, let's say they're working on the bricks and the brick falls, it's not going to hit anybody. It's just going to mm -hmm. hit the, you know, this, this, it's usually around the first floor. It's like this skirt uh, that goes around, okay? I call it, what happens is I find that when they put these things up, homeless people like to sit under them. <laughs> and so I've come to refer to ours as a homeless shelter, you know. Uh, but uh, anyway, um, uh, they, they do this, and the whole, and they have a courtyard, and that's got one of those things there to protect you. And, uh, I mean, this has been going on for the, but that, that thing that goes around the building, I heard costs because they rent them out fifty thousand a month. Wow! You know who knows how much this is costing them. So they they're gonna pass this on to the tenants. Oh, I don't think they can pass this on to the tenants. I think there's a law that every so often a building has to do this. Maybe every twenty or thirty years. Could be it's never been done since the building was built. And they've removed whole like sections of cornices, cornices and things like that, which they then send out and they make new ones to put in because it's decorative, okay? And I mean, it's just been going on forever, just going on forever. And then there's some guys in our uh, in our uh, not the lobby, but our our lobby to this floor, the eighth floor, we're bringing bricks up and taking them up to the roof. And that's been going on for weeks now. I mean, it's just you know, come on, get over it already. I'm told <laughs> that by I'm told that by spring this will be finished. It'll be over. But it's a beautiful building, and it's got this thing around it for fifty thousand dollars a month. So you know, Jesus. And then they sit there hammering and drilling, and that goes on all day. And you know, if I had a job to go to, I wouldn't have to put up with it. Okay, but I, I do, because I'm unemployed. Yeah, that, I'm that sounds pretty loud. I can hear it. Yeah, I'm retired. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, they must be close, too, I think, because they have these, uh, you know, they have these platforms that go up, these, what do they call them? 
you know, hang off the edge of the building and then they go up and down and up and down. And they work on those all day. I don't know if I would want that job. Being in with you, you gotta wear a mask all day because of OSHA, because yeah. of, the, of, the, of the, you know, the dust. And, and then, those platforms don't look that secure to me. <laughs> you know something, they really don't, but they are. I mean, I, 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 none have fallen in this thing. You know, they seem pretty solid. But they also move them, too. They go up and they move the whole tracking and everything over so they can get over to another part of the building. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it's, it's uh, uh, I hope that they just hurry up and get it over with. My side of the building... Here they've been doing forever, and they haven't done. They've only done half of it. They haven't gone over to the other section because they can only do as much as the platform is wide. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, so, how, so how, how big is your building? How like how many floors? It's eight floors. Wow. Yeah, it's eight floors. Um, our sister building called the Anthorpe is twelve floors. And the reason it's twelve, you know, the reason why it's twelve floors, the other one and ours isn't. The, the other one was built about 10 years later. And it, if you go to it and you look at it, except for the fact that there's also an entrance on the other side of it, it's the same exact footprint. I mean, you can look at the courtyard. It's the same courtyard. Uh, but the reason why that was 12 floors and this was 8 floors, this was 8 floors because it had elevators. And at that point, elevators were hydraulic. And you could only build a building or have an elevator that went as high as the highest level of water on the island. Okay? So supposedly, I guess the highest they could go was eight, eight floors. Oh. But by the time they made the 12 floors, they were electric elevators. Hmm. Isn't that, you see, now yeah. you know the rest of now, the story. <laughs> Well, it sounds like a great building. Oh, it's it, it, it's a magnificent building, but the landlords that own it don't take care of it. You know, they do what they got to do so it doesn't fall apart. Um, this building was built in in it was finished in in two thousand. Uh, it is one hundred and twenty two years old. Wow. And uh, it was it was built. The concept of the building was is that these were mansions that were built on top of each other, basically. These were high-end living facilities. And so, you know, almost half a floor, one apartment was half a floor. Uh, I, and uh, I right in this apartment that I'm in, if you look at the end of the hallway, there's a doorway. And that was all bricked up and made into two apartments. Um, it's, a, it's a magnificent old building, and uh, the, the landlords don't give a shit about it. You know, I mean, they, they, they don't need to... Uh, they figured that they needed to... Uh, I, they, they don't, they're not restoring anything. No, they just want to They're, extract money from well, you. Well, right? they took a, they took some of these apartments, and they made them into two apartments. Okay. Uh, uh, wow, that's getting loud. You hear that? Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. I hope you people are enjoying. This is part of the entertainment. We're going to charge <laughs> you. We're going to charge you for it. And do you have neighbors on your floor? On our floor, we have three neighbors. Two other neighbors. You never see them. Um, I see them. Oh, yeah, we know both of them, and they're very nice. And uh, one of them has been here so long that he can tell you the history of the apartment and the building and who lived here and when they lived here and and all of that, you know. Um, but we, uh, we still have problems with our landlord, you know, with the deal that we made. They keep sending us a bill every month for the, and they say in arrears twenty five hundred dollars. We paid them every penny, you know, and, and now I'm finding out it might be because our lawyer who said he was going to pay them some money never they never cashed the check or something way back when. But anyway, uh, but we're we're okay. They're not going to throw us out of here. Uh, 
and I think you know they were supposed to uh, they were supposed to appeal uh, the um, the sentence made a notice that they were going to appeal, and then they they had six months from that notice to appeal, and it appears as though they haven't appealed. Wow. So if that's the case, we got this place for a really low rent. She you know. might finally be done with it. Well, it could be. It could be. They still they still send us a bill every month. They send us a bill for twenty two hundred and what is it? Twenty two hundred twenty five dollars minus minus uh, 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 something or another. I don't know what they call it. And uh, that comes then then the rent comes to five hundred and seven cents. Wow. Five hundred. Wait a minute, no, 500, wait a minute, yeah, $500 and seven cents, I think it is. Yeah. And your place is bigger than most homes. Oh, yeah, this is ridiculous. It's almost like we're not paying rent at all, you know. Uh, but uh, they never appealed it, and I think they had six months to appeal it, according to my lawyer when I first talked to him. He said, well, he, they said they were gonna they were going to appeal it, and they filed a notice that they were going to appeal it, and then they... Uh, uh, they never appealed it, and he said they, they. At that time, he told me they have six months to appeal it after that notification. So and you're set. I guess I don't know. Knock on laminate or whatever this is at the top of this. Is that wood? There's the wood underneath it. There we go. Well, do you have to pay for heating? Uh, no. It's it's uh, it comes up from downstairs. It's uh, radiator. Okay, I was thinking like a big place like that. Would cost a fortune. <laughs> of course, that is a big fight my wife and I have with each other. She calls them, she calls them, I think, radiators. Radiators? Yeah, and I call them radiators. And I think you're right. I think I'm right. Yeah, well, I said it's not radiator, it's radiator because what you're talking about is a device that radiates heat, right? That's why it's right. called a radiator. It's not called a radiator. Right. Yeah, it radiates heat. No, it doesn't. It radiates heat. Yeah. <laughs> we have that argument, too. But anyway, it's a, a great building. It was built by the Astors. Uh, and uh, it was meant to be literally a, a group of mansions on top of each other. And then as years went on, they became apartments. And then later on in years, it fell to disrepair. And in fact, was the featured... Um, uh, apartment building in uh, New Jack City in which uh, they take over this building and at one point uh, uh, I'm trying to remember who the actor was points to a picture of the building and then he points to a, a window and says this is where we'll build the uh, um, build the um, uh, 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 meth lab <laughs> and that window is our kitchen oh, that's great yeah so our kitchen is the meth lab in uh, new jack city uh, so but when it, they made that movie the place was not in great shape no no the place and it was called the carter in the movie although outside it, it you know says graham court which is the name of the, of the building and because we have a big courtyard on the interior that's why you hear all that pounding out here um and uh, we have this big, uh, you know, cart, courtyard and everything, and that played, pl played predominantly in the movie. But at that time, it really was a crack house. It really, really was a place where they wow. were they were dealing drugs out the first floor windows to people. <laughs> yeah. So you know, I hear about those days from my neighbors, and and uh, how lucky we are that it's not that way now. Uh, but it, 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 the history has a building has wonderful history. But here's the thing. Now hold on to your breath. This is a this is a gigantic building. It's it's eight floors. It had something like it has something like is it a hundred apartments in it? Uh, I'm thinking a hundred apartments. Yeah. And and when it was first built, it was even less because they were you know they were bigger. Um, and um, they, this is a huge building. It takes up a really nice chunk of the block and so on, okay? So that taken into consideration. A few years back, this thing was in such disrepair that 
it owed money to the city, and the city decided to sell it off because it fell into their hands. And you could, they bought this apartment house for, I think, and I may be wrong, $150,000. Okay? Wow. And they had to pay the back taxes or something, which was another 150000 So for 300000 they got this building. Well, you know, I mean, wouldn't you think, if you, it, but at that time, it was the people who were living here were selling drugs, and it was just horrible. And the people who lived in the building lived in terror. And they did nothing about it. <laughs> you know, they just sent out the rent bills every month, you know. Now they have a piece of property. I would imagine this thing is worth a couple of hundred million. Yeah. Jesus. At least, if not more. Uh, I'm held. You know, I would have bought it back then if I knew it was for sale. But back then you wouldn't want it because it was, it was, it was, you know, it was like a drug palace here, you know. And the neighborhood was not a good neighborhood. It was a very dangerous neighborhood. So there was no reason except for but what I call slumlords to buy it up. Now this is. Are you in Harlem? Yeah, yeah. And these. Okay, are, well Harlem kind of went through this renaissance over the last thirty years, right? Well, so. last uh, I'd say twenty, maybe, and really the last ten. You know this this neighborhood when we first moved into it, th this corner was pretty dangerous. Somebody got shot at our front gate. Killed, shot and killed at our front gate on New Year's Eve. Um, and, uh, you know, it was, it was a dangerous neighborhood at one point. And so, you know, I mean, the only piece of people that would buy an apartment house here are slumlords, people who were taking advantage. So these are guys who were slumlords. Yeah. Okay. But now they're not slumlords any longer because this isn't the slum any longer. No. You know, so I mean that changed the whole thing, uh, and uh, it's a it's a great building. It's a lovely building, but it it would take a lot of work to get it back to the way it was, and not to just uh, re rebuild or whatever, but to restore. You don't want to ruin the beauty of this building by just simply like you know re replacing the mosaic tile in the lobby with uh, with brick you know, or something like that. Uh, you you want to restore everything. And to restore everything, this building would cost a fortune, and I don't think they want to do it. So. Yeah. Sam, I'd love to see some pictures of it. Uh, it's, uh, I can, well, I'd send you pictures, but it would take too long to download. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Uh, still not, uh, still not got that fast internet, huh? It's coming, it's coming. What do you mean it's coming? I'm gonna get some fast internet. Oh, really? You you're, you have to order it up? Yeah, there's some deals. In, in other words, it's available in your building. It's finally, yeah. Did you do it? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> you you sound you're sounding like well, I've finally given up. <laughs> I've given up on everything. Well, yeah. I've I've thought that at this point the reason you're such a luddite is because you don't want to ruin your reputation. <laughs> You know, everybody. Whenever anybody says, "How's how's Bubs?" I go, "Well, um, he's just still, you know, he's still got that flip phone." You know, <laughs> that was always a big thing. He still got a flip phone. Everybody yeah. in in the world has a has a uh, uh, the kind of phones, you know, the flatter phones. But anyway, go ahead with your flip phone. Go ahead with have it. when you send a text on your phone, you have to. If you want to be, you have to push the A twice, right? Right, uh-huh. Yeah, one of those. Oh, boy. That's a little annoying, but... Uh, well, if you just got one of the, you know, they're cheap enough now. And I'm sure I'm sure you saved enough money. No, uh, it's, not, it's okay. not the money. I just don't like smartphones. It, yeah, so. I'm sure you've saved the money over the years. Oh, yes, I'm okay. a wealthy, I mean, wealthy wh powerful man. <laughs> what have you spent it on, you know? I'm going <laughs> to... I want to move to the Dakota. <laughs> Speaking of interesting buildings. Yeah, yeah. This was like about the third building like this. I think the Dakota was the first one that was like that. You know, big, beautiful. That was a building, folks, in case you don't know, John Lennon got shot in. That, 
he was coming home, and the guy came down, shot him, dead. Hmm. God, we're coming up on the, uh, that'll be the 42nd anniversary. Really? December 8th. Really? Wow. Well, I guess, uh, you know, boy, time passes so fast. Just so fast. You're what so he's a, John Lennon has actually been dead longer than he was alive. Wow. You're right. You're right. Because he's 40 when he died. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, he was, uh, it was, it was sad. I was, I, I was saddened by that. I, I had quit the radio station. This is, I have to say this quickly. I, I was quitting the, I quit the radio station. I said, I want to go back to New York because I was just homesick. And he died. And I went into the general manager and said, do you mind if I stay? Because <laughs> now New York represents nothing but death to me, you know. And he said, yeah. And he said, here's a raise. So that was nice. Wow. Uh, anyway, hey, look, uh, we've, uh, we've run out of time here. Larry. Flown by. It flies by. I mean, I just have a conversation with you, and you're very conversational, and we don't have to talk about politics. Ugh. You know. No, that should be avoided at all costs. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's nice to have that respite. And yeah. we'll see you again next week for another respite with Larry Bubbles Brown. Thanks, Larry. Thanks, Alex. They're hammering away. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Okay, there they go. There goes Larry. Bye, Larry. Bye, Larry. See you later, Larry. Uh, anyway, so uh, let me see here. Here we go. I'm uh, so out of it tonight. I'm sorry, folks. I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm just this breathing thing is getting to me. Mm. And I'm breathing okay. I mean, let's uh, see. I mean, I'm doing all that, but for some reason, I just I'm just not feeling. A hundred percent. So I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe this is just what age is. This is what is getting old is. Maybe maybe I should just pack it in, you know? But then you know something? If I packed it in, if I didn't do this every night, I would die a lot easier, a lot earlier. Yeah. So, you know. Anyway, uh we're gonna uh check out the uh the uh, citizen panel here, who we are getting in here at the same time. Uh, let me um, let me bring them in here. Let me see here. Who? What, what is what is this one? Brian. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay, there we go. It was like this big black <laughs> square. It was this void. I, I, I forget to plug it up. Yeah, I am. Um, um, uh, by the way, uh, uh, as I've said, Jack is not on the air if, until uh, January. And uh, uh, tonight after our show, you want to do a little hour here, uh, Josh? Sure. Yeah, if you want. Yeah, it's a kind of a hard thing for me to do, but I'll do it. it I have to, like, uh, turn off here, then I have to turn on there, and I have to get uh, Zoom going and the Zoom feed which will go out over Facebook. You'll see the video on Facebook, on my Facebook page, so, which is Jeff, Facebook. Jeff, fancying a nice little fluffy jacket there. Jeff, don't you get a heater? Not around here. Well, I could I, say the same thing. I have out of plenty mine. of heat, but then my wife is here. And she doesn't believe in heat. Oh, really? Well, uh, how about our landlords? They don't believe in heat either. Yeah, I know. You know, so. Pam grew up in a, New England old, old house that they didn't have any heat pr practically, and they decided, well, what the hell? What do they do for heat? I mean, where, where did she, where, where, where was she brought up? In New England. In New England. It gets yeah. cold up there. I know, but it gets this really house cold up there. It was like 200 years old. Yeah, so <laughs> has it got fireplaces? They have one. One? <laughs> Is she in the room with you? No, no, she, no. Well, she's on the other side. He's talking smack about Pam, and I got the door closed. What are you kidding? Yeah. And plus, her, her other sisters are here too. So. I mean, oh no. Well, what and is, so I. Yeah. What's terrible about Pam is if he says smack about her, she can sue him because she's a lawyer. That's right. Oh yeah. wow. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad though. Being married to a lawyer. 
because oh, when it comes to looking at contracts and things like that, she can take a look at them, right? Yeah, that's true. Although she often will look at them and say, all right. And then she call the, the attorney who's going to do the project. Yeah. And she goes, I got uh, three questions. And she goes, this, that, and the other thing. She says, okay. It's $100. She's retired, so. Yeah, it's $100 a question. There you go. Well, my question yeah. is, like, I went through this whole thing, right, with the, with the apartment, right? And I had to hire lawyers. Now, if somehow I was a lawyer, could I just handle it myself? Mm -hmm. Or would I have to house and get outside counsel to handle it? I mean, sometimes it's just better. It's a better strategy. In what okay. respect? Well, if you're not the attorney there, you can kind of say certain things, and maybe they're not exactly what the judge might say if you. Mm -hmm. If you're getting sued, whatever. Uh, there's a saying: an attorney that represents himself as a yeah. client. Yeah, I think a lot of a lot of lawyers have some, some specialty. You know? yeah. Obviously, I'll say my special real right. estate a real estate lawyer and a criminal defense attorney are probably yeah. Yeah. Two well, totally different. Uh, right, and there's so many different. Well, I, I was getting charged with murder. I would not get my uh, my uh, landlord attorney or my no, not at residential all. attorney to take care of it. You know. No, Injury. when Pam kills me, she's gonna have to get a, a better yeah. attorney. You just call Rudy Giuliani <laughs> and he take care of him. I don't know. He doesn't have a law degree anymore. He doesn't oh. have a law, a law license or a bar license or whatever. Uh, it is. Details. Yeah. The details. <laughs> okay. he's, got a, he's got a big ring on like half of his fingers, and you know he yeah. bulges his eyes out from time to time. It'd be fine. Everything's fine. So what I saw today was that they have a documentary out on the life of Al Sharpton. <laughs> Didn't know that. And I'm wondering, does it really cover the time that uh, I forget the head of the NAACP? Leveled him and knocked him to the floor with a punch on the uh, on a TV show, on Morton Downey Jr. show. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Never heard of that. Oh yeah, that was where he, he was big and fat, and he was like uh, he was pain. He was just a, I huh. you know I, in recent years he somehow has gotten credibility. Yep. All right. But I never, even though I, I give him that credibility to a certain extent, because when I hear him speak, he's reasonable and all of that, and I, you know, I still don't trust him. <laughs> I, I don't trust him because of those days way back when, when he was just trying to get newspaper coverage, you know? And uh, Al Sharpton was looked upon as a bozo. He was just, he was a clown. Yeah. He you also know. looked like a slob, too. Oh, he was. Yeah. yeah. He was. Did you see him? Just he lost a lot of weight, and he kept it off. To his credit, he kept it off. Yeah. 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 But uh, anyway, so uh, so uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, uh, nothing new really in the news to talk of. Mm. You know. So so I'll see you all later, and we'll let uh, t uh, 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 we'll let Josh take over the show from here. <laughs> you know. Um, I mean, I suppose there's a few things going on. Okay, like I don't want to spoil well, what you're going to you know, do. I, mean, I don't, I don't uh, want to ruin what you're going to do next hour, though. Uh, mm -hmm. We won't. It's okay. I okay, mean, uh, yeah. but you know, people like to. Well, I mean, whatever anyone wants to talk about. I mean, the you know this prisoner exchange deal. I know you guys talked about it last night. Uh, that was you know one of the main things today. Uh, mm hmm. You know, um, Senator Sinema from Arizona is going to leave the Democratic Party and become an independent. Um, so now that everything's over with, she needs everyone to pay attention to her a little bit more. Well, so does, needs, does, you know, I, 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 does everybody uh, like, uh, what's his name from Vermont, uh, Bernie Sanders? Just because yeah. he's an independent, do they pay attention to him? No, but, I mean, sh that's what she wants. You know, if you ask me, it doesn't strike me as someone who's well, here's 100% interested in doing 
really what she thinks is right and all that. I don't. I mean, th- I don't well, they say she, they say she didn't do it because she wants to get even with the Democratic Party. Oh, I don't think. No, it's she that. did I, it because I, because get this, and you may not know this is a statistic. Over fifty percent of the voting public in Arizona, where she is from, are independents. Really? Yeah. Uh, that may be. I find that a little hard to believe. It that is. They're all registered that way. No, but. they are. That, it, it is one of the few states where independents rule the day. And so yeah. it, I think she wants to be recognized by those people. She's trying to win because it doesn't look good for her in the next election. Okay. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think she likes being talked about and being on TV because. Uh, I mean, not she didn't do it because of that. I'm just saying. I, I don't think it bothers her though. Um, yeah. You know, uh, she. Uh, you know, that's happening. Um, you know, the uh, really the one one that you have to watch out for. This uh, they covered it a little bit. It's not really been in the news. Is that uh, you know the court did hear a case on you know Monday or Tuesday or whatever. On election on election laws, it is possibly going to be very important. Um, you know that the North Carolina, you know, redistrict, redrew their electoral maps the mm-hmm. way that all states do after the census, and it was a you know a very gerrymandered uh, redistricting map. Um, so the natural result. You see this in other states too, right? Somebody sued and said, no, that's not fair, okay? And it went to their state Supreme Court, which is what happens in these cases, in almost all these cases. And their state Supreme Court said, no, you can't. You can't do that. That's not a good map. Mm -hmm. It's unfair. It was, it's not representative of the people and, you know, all that. So they threw it out. And then they made, I don't know if they made some changes or, or whatever, but it got to a new map, which is the map they ended up using Mm -hmm. because the Supreme court of their state had thrown that map out Mm -hmm. and, and the U S Supreme court had refused to step in and issue a stay and all that kind of stuff. So that became their new map. They had to live with it for the election. But during this time period, they filed lawsuit in a few federal courts and it went back and forth. And has found its way to the Supreme Court, and they are arguing that state Supreme Courts should not have the rights to uh, check redistricting maps. In other words, when the state legislature redraws federal districts, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is within their right to do every 10 years, the only people that could have any say after that are the people themselves by voting those folks out or Congress by passing certain laws that would regulate how states do that. Other than that, they are saying that no state Supreme Court should be allowed to throw these maps out or say this side of it was good. They should have no say whatsoever. It should purely, strictly, 100% be the legislature. Which is a pretty radical change, if you think about it, because most of these state Supreme Courts have stepped in on a lot of these and said, no, that map went too far. You have to massage it or throw Mm -hmm. it out, start or whatever. It happened in Ohio. It happened in Wisconsin. You know, it happened in a few states. Big states, a lot of people, Mm -hmm. a lot of electoral votes. Um, But, you know, they're... They basically are saying, you know, if they have a good majority in their legislature, when they redraw that map, they can do anything they want and make it nearly impossible for a member of the opposite party to get elected. And the U.S. Supreme Court or anyone should not have any check on that. So that's pretty radical. You know, it's a pretty radical change. It's actually a a potentially a very large and important case. Um mm-hmm. So I, I listened to the argument on the way home while I drove back from Illinois. Uh, um, you know, the court let the argument go three hours. Mm. Uh, typically does not go nearly that long, but, um, you know, they sort of changed those rules a couple of years ago and they can, you know, they basically let the argument go as long as they want anymore. And the chief justice let it go 
two hours and 55 minutes or whatever. It was pretty good back and forth. Uh, this theory, by the way, was basically cooked up by and pushed by mm -hmm. uh, uh, the lawyer named John Eastman. I don't know. So do you remember that was Trump's post-election lawyer this cycle? Yeah, yeah. So this is one of these crazy deals. <laughs> and I understand some of their their logic, but it is it is quite but it is quite radical. And, uh, you know, that's something that's worth talking about maybe tonight or something like that, because I, I don't think it's, it's uh, I don't think it's what probably popped into everybody's mind. You know, OK, how they think it'll go or whatever. I mean, there was a there was a pretty heavy dose of skepticism from Kavanaugh, from Justice Barrett, from the chief justice. Um, you know, I mean, some of those folks are pretty constitutionally strict. Uh, and they Yeah, were, but what uh, happens to the rest of them? I mean, that is a very biased court now. Well, I don't, but I don't know. I don't completely see it that way. I see it that way on certain issues because of their judicial philosophy. But this is this is one of the ones where I'm saying that it doesn't really have much to do with the fact that this is being pushed by the Republican Party in North Carolina in a in a, in a radical Republican lawyer because, like I said. You know, Justice Barrett and Kavanaugh and, and them, they have a fairly strict originalist sort of, you know, bend on their way that they look at the Constitution, mm -hmm. or at least their, you know, the way they interpret. And, you know, I sort of heard a lot from them saying, you're kind of trying to say that it says things that it doesn't say. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I mean, you know, that's what I'm saying. It, they're, they're not really looking at that as... Uh, you know, any sort of uh, political, you know, move or anything like that. It, I mean, they just, you know, that, that makes it kind yeah, of interesting. Let me ask you I this mean, question, I, though, uh, Josh, and, uh, and everybody else here. Yeah. Uh, yes, we realize gerrymandering is a terrible thing, and redistricting mm -hmm. is a terrible thing, and the way they're trying to redraw these maps, which benefit Republicans and don't benefit Democrats, is uh, is really questionable, really horrible, but okay. But do you think the public really cares? You know, I mean, or is it just too complicated for them? Yeah, I think do they understand? Huh? Yeah, like, maybe people don't understand how that's done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because because I wondered, you know. Um. So, I don't wonder if most people got to hear about it before it actually is is happening and it's done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, each state does a little different, you know, and you're right. It, it, it is a little difficult. You know, some of them have just the legislature can form like a committee and do it. Some of them pass laws that said... It had to be done by like a company they hire, like a nonpartisan group, and I mean they all have their own, you know, laws and things. And I mean we had so every them. every state can do their own approach, yeah. right? Correct. Yeah. Well, they yeah, re they know. redistrict here in uh, and added a district, I think, in New York. Yeah, that that happened. And that's right. that's where the Republicans got another one of their congressmen. Yeah, it was from that, you know. You know, stuff like that happens, you know, um, you know, a certain uh, former district could maybe get district out and combine with another. Mm -hmm. So you're still going to end up, you know, like same number of electoral votes, representatives and all that. But, it, you know, it, it's divided up differently in, in size and proportion. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we've all seen these things that look absolutely, you know, ridiculous, you know. I mean, districts that are just here and then up and over and here. I mean, you know, made to just literally go through, you mm -hmm. know, like, or go around every single, you know, populated area that might have African-American voters or something like that. I mean, you know, just, just ridiculous stuff. I mean, like the district that I lived in, it changed again. You know, it's changed every census. For the last couple and i mean it, it's you know that i mean because i live in a rural area but it's not that far you know 30 miles from a metropolitan area 
and they always go right around it and come down here and hook us in, you know, and it, it, I end up in a district that's literally like 80% Trump, you know, this last election or whatever. I mean, you know, he, he, he was like 81% or something. The, the, the one that I live in was the most Trump district in the state. Yeah. You know, so, you know, they're never going to, you know, want to change that. But that's what they were taking a look at is, you know, when that map gets redrawn, if the if the Ohio Supreme Court throws it out, which it did, they're saying that can never happen again. They just redraw it. And that's just it. Mm-hmm. There's, you know, the only thing that can ever trump that would be a federal law from Congress where, you know, like the supremacy clause would come into play. You can never make a state law that violates a, you know, a federal law. Mm-hmm. You know, the state could put certain mandates in that says you you have to do this or you can't do that. And we all know that's going to be very difficult to do, right? I mean, I, I, I highly doubt, uh, you know, the U.S. Congress is ever going to, you know, put in any kind of a... Uh, uh, regulation to not do this they want to do it that's how they get their you know saying they have a vested interest in not doing it so that's never going to happen mm-hmm. so so that's a fairly that's a fairly big case does know? anybody here let me change the topic a second does anybody yeah, here, does anybody here know what nfts are <laughs> I, I know but i don't know it's like non-fungible something or another's it's, it's one of those stupid new things like that fucking crypto or whatever. Well, I don't know if that's exactly what it is, but Kevin Hart, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Madonna, Jimmy Fallon, and others have lost money. In are charged with insidious NFT endorsement suit. Now, what is Tom Brady too, Alex? Too. No, no. The, the Tom Brady was on the. Uh, was he another uh, one? No, that crypto? was for that. That was for the crypto. This isn't oh, crypto. Okay, crypto. NFT. Yeah, and it's I, like I, a similar thing, some sort of electronic. Is it world or deal? Yeah. I mean, non. I, I honestly don't understand it at all. But it, it, supposedly, it's some sort of electronic token that someone gives you that can be worth money. Mm-hmm. I think. Well, let I mean, me I, hold I on. Know, let me look. Let me look it up. I, yeah. well, I know they have, have digital cards now, Josh. Where they're trying to push those things. Like, it's yeah, like, I uh, mean. People are giving those People things just, away. Now, it's crazy you know? what they're okay. trying to do, and they're endorsing this stuff. I, I mean, I guess you pay. I mean, money. it's very strange, but it's some sort of like token. Oh, okay, or it's a mean. non-fungible token. But what is that? Okay, yeah, really. non-fungible token means that it, it, it the token is unique and can't be replaced. Let's take mm. Bitcoin for example. Bitcoin is fungible, since mm. you can trade your Bitcoin for another Bitcoin and end up with. Uh, a Bitcoin in both cases. Our NFTs are more like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, what? that's what they're like. But, what you what are Yu-Gi-Oh but, cards? Now they're really. I mean, am I getting yeah, old? Am I just Yu-Gi-Oh getting old? I don't know what that they is. They made so many of them now. Huh? What are you? But where is it? And how do I get it? And all that. What yeah, do I do? With it? I don't, I don't know. They great. More like you Yu-Gi-Oh do. cards. One of a kind trading tokens. That if you trade one for another, you'll receive a token different from the one you gave away. Huh? It's adults. It's a. You know, can I ask you a question, Alex? When you were like, when you were in, if somebody came up to you, your agent, at one of these, when you were working out in San Francisco or New York, would you have wanted to back a currency like this if they said, "Hey, listen, like, I don't understand why these celebrities have all this money. Why would they even want to back like crypto? I know they get to pay them. I get it, but wouldn't you really be like, I don't want to do this? Really? Well, what I don't get. Here's the part that bothers me. Yeah. Is that when when uh, uh, they go crypto. And uh, they go all the way on crypto, and then they the crypto falls apart like it did with this company. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, NFT or something or whatever. I can't remember. No, that's uh, we're talking about NFTs. But uh, uh, it, all of a sudden they lose all this money. I don't feel fucking sorry for them. No, I don't because they're stupid. I feel like I feel like they're being hucksters though. The celebrities doing this. Like, FTX or something like that. Yeah, FTX. That's like, the one. Yeah. Like perfect example, guys. Like I can run this by you. Like I'm watching the Nick game tonight, right? And I'm always seeing for uh, what's his name? That what's that comedian's name? I like Kevin Hart. 
Mm-hmm. I know they're paying him money to do Bet MGM, I think it is, or whatever he's doing. Yeah. It's like you think with all the money he has, you think the agent would say, "Listen, Kevin, do you really need to do? Do you really want to have your name out there where somebody can get a gambling problem because they see you doing it?" I don't get it. Like, are they that greedy? Suppose they're going to pay, pay him ten million dollars to do the commercials. But well, would yeah. you take? Wouldn't you feel a little thing like I don't want to do it for? I don't want to get somebody. Well, I'm. I me. look. Don't ask, you're asking the wrong person. The reason I'm not rich is I have scruples. You know. That's what I was saying. Would you have done that, Alex? If they came up, you say, "Listen, say if somebody gets." No, I say I have, scru- I have scruples. scruples. I have scruples, and I would not want people to bet their life savings at MGM because I did a commercial for M- MGM. You know. That's what I'm saying. Like I said, oh, this Alex, if he do it, I'm going to do it now. Yeah, but you're making money. I'm not. But now you know here they here they come at me with and say, "Okay, ten million bucks to just do uh-huh. one commercial." One commercial, yeah. One commercial. What are you going to say? What are you going to say? I, I mean, if you already established... Ten, ten million dollars for one for commercial. Mom, mom, we can get a house. <laughs> You're right, but he's got a lot of money already. Though. Alex, is it... Is it they just he, get, maybe maybe, maybe he has $50 million. Dollars. This makes him $60 million. Dollars. I know. Richard. When does it stop, though? Like, is it never enough? I don't get it. Oh, no, it's never enough. It's never <laughs> it enough. Either. I mean, how much can you? How many times can you travel the world? You have everything. See, we had a t- we had a time where when you made a lot of money, you made yeah. it because you were a big businessman and you were an Andrew Carnegie and you did it in steel and you did it in coal and you did it in this and you did it in that. And now honestly, you're a billionaire if you're a Kardashian. And what the fuck are they selling? My brother mentioned that today. We were doing the reality TV. What? How did they ever become this? She's like a billionaire. My brother was talking. Oh, she's a billionaire, it. and uh, one of the other sisters is a billionaire too. One of the. Uh, um, I was like, no way. He says, "Yeah, where are you living?" I says, "Really?" Yeah, no. The two two of them are billionaires now. Kim and uh, I'm trying to remember the other one. But, uh, not Chloe. No, no, it's not. Was it's not? It's she's always fat and those spandex. Well, it's not one it of the Kardashian. Like it's one of the one Kardashian. Sisters, the but the yeah, younger, yeah. two younger ones by what's his name? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, what's her name? Huh? The lawyer. Yeah. What? No, no. The, it, the, the, it, the, what's his name? The guy Jenner? in the Wheaties box. Uh, Bruce Jenner. Those Bruce Jenner. Yes. Yeah, they're Jenners. And one I the, still can't get over one that of the guy. Gen, one of the Jenner kids was the first one to hit a billion. Yeah. Oh, shit. Kylie. Kylie Jenner or something. Kylie. That's it. Hardly, yeah. Uh, oh. I mean, then she's already done. And excuse me if I said he, I mean she, but then oh, that would have thrown this group off. I need to go to school. You know? on it. I don't get it really. Yeah. Except Tony. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, but but it, you know, How they didn't have you? railroads. They didn't. They didn't do anything. These these girls just, you know. These women, women, they're not girls any longer. These women. Uh, just managed to like uh, be influencers or something. I mean, yeah, it's not tan- it's not really tangible. You know, I wouldn't even know where to buy a Kardashian product. Okay, I don't the thing, really. maybe in their company stores. <laughs> don't now, say that. Too coffee, loud. If she Alan sells coffee, I may be. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> yes, Alan knows your address, so don't say that stuff too loud. Oh, okay. So he's going to send me stuff from the Kardashian collection. <laughs> he can't <laughs> afford. He can't. He can't afford it. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It's probably like a lot. I bet you have fleece blankets like a hundred bucks. <clears throat> he's already googling it. I can see him right now in his glasses. <laughs> I was watching the replay. Phil's got a book. I saw like he had like a coffee table book showing you. It looked like he was hawking it. <laughs> what? What? what was, I was watching the replay where you would feel he had some kind of book he did. Yeah. But we live in a time where this is just ridiculous. And then these you know, non fungible <laughs> tokens. Yeah, oh, that's, boy. That's yeah. Well, it, 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 I don't know. I don't understand how they work. So I'm not really sure. And then if you have a computer, you can actually be a Bitcoin miner. <laughs> What's this? I get a little hat with a, with a light on it and I'm sitting at my computer? What? I, you know. I don't know. I don't get it. I think it's a little scary. You know. Yeah, the NFT things. I, I don't. I, I really, I just don't understand how it works or whatever. Well, I wish I knew how it worked. I mean. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I, I get this email last year from the Cincinnati Bengals. This is they're giving me an NFT for the AFC Championship. You know, 
the conference champions in FT or whatever. And it's like, okay, I mean, what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Well, nobody has been able to answer this to me since Bitcoin is not really a coin. You know, it, it's <laughs> only electronic transaction. <laughs> Let's bit. say I need some money. I want to take out a hundred bucks out of the bank. That's a good point. I want to go buy groceries. What, what what's what's, what's that? I can't, I can't, I can't, you can't see it good. I shit you not. Chloe Celebrity Prayer Candle. She's got candles that smell? Eight inch glass prayer candle of Chloe oh. Kardashian. Of Chloe Kardashian? <laughs> of a Chloe Celebrity Prayer Candle. Oh boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's the first thing that popped up with Amazon. <laughs> it's up a picture of a face? Yeah, it's a picture of her. She face. loves herself. You got it. This is it's like insanity, really. It, of course, it's insanity. It's like I got a picture of myself on the. If I would have got the phone mother, she would have threw it out the window. Come on. Do you know that when they ask young kids today, "What do you want to be when you grow up?" Yeah. You know what the top answer is? I'm afraid. Influencer. Yeah. Really? And they, before like and they kids wanted to be astronauts and doctors and. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to be an astronaut. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You Influencer. Sure? Where, Remember, where do you study? Um, what college do you go to to study influencing? You know? You remember History of the World when he's, when, uh, what you call Mel Brooks is going for his unemployment and Ward's behind him and he says, Well, what do you do? I'm a philosopher. You're a bullshitter. Next. <laughs> <laughs> how about, to make it like you're something else. How about, how about next. Trump University for influencer? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, uh, you always bring it back to Trump. You should give up on Trump as a, 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 as a, as a punchline. All right. No, really, I'm saying this only because, really, he has nothing significant going for him now. Okay. O only that he's the first president person to say he's running for president, and I think he did it a little early. You know, like uh, about three years too early. Well, by two years too early. I mean, he, he should have waited a year until everybody else had done it and then jump in, and then he could monopolize the conversation. By the time they get around to actually doing this thing and, and getting the people to run for you know the party nomination, it's too it's, he's, everybody's tired of him. You know? It, it, you know, he should have just laid low for a couple of years and then come out of the woodwork, you know? Then he would have been welcomed by his people. But just trying to stay sharp for when we put him back in, you know, because the election was stolen and all that. Got to. Well, we know the election yeah. was stolen. If he doesn't play for a while, it'll be rusty when he yeah. comes back. So he's just trying to, yeah, you know, yeah. do the right thing. We all know Stand the election change. was stolen. Let's not even argue that one, okay? Oh, oh, boy. Yeah. I'm saying that for the benefit of Phil, who might be listening. Ooh. You know, um, he doesn't believe that. I don't say his name, please. Well, yeah, if you say his name three times, yeah, it's like Be call. it's like Beetlejuice, yeah. I like that you don't remember half the times he was in the apartment. <laughs> yeah. When is he ever going to leave this guy? Get run out, Alex. Yeah, <laughs> definitely just... stolen. Yeah, but anyway, I mean, I just don't, I don't understand all this stuff, and I think maybe it's just I'm too old to understand it. I'm not understand. with it, you know. I. You know, I, I'm not the. I'm not going to argue that maybe we need a new monetary system, that isn't as uh, isn't as uh, um, how can I put it as uh, uh, just can't fall apart as easily, you know, as ours does from time to time. I mean, let's face it, our money isn't based on anything in particular anymore. We don't really have it backed by silver or gold or anything else, mm -hmm. you know. And, and when the government needs more money for something, they just print more. it, just print it, you know? And, and uh, it goes up and it fluctuates and it goes down, you know, but at least it's something tangible. But I don't know what happens with Bitcoin, how I trade that in for cash in my pocket. Because somewhere along the line, I've got to get cash. You know, I've got to get American dollars in my pocket for those bitcoins in order for it to work. It doesn't work just being out there being a bitcoin. Now some people will accept bitcoin, okay? And in that case it makes a lot of sense. Prostitutes probably. Listen, you know something, I gotta tell you a story, it's something else they're doing here in New York. They just announced 
that in the subways, they are no longer going to accept, cre they're no longer going to accept uh, uh, the, the cards you swipe. They will only accept um, uh, Apple Pay and other forms of, you know, Digital using a, using a, using a, uh, a phone, okay? Uh, I'm sure there's an Android version of Apple Pay that will work, a, 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 you know, Android Pay or whatever. But they're not going to take cash, and they're not going to take the cards you swipe. You know, you have a, one of those cards, don't you? Uh, yeah, I have a bunch of them, yeah. Sure. I, keep, I keep some of the old ones, too. Yeah, but, you, you, you know, you just swipe them and you go. You're good to go. They're not going to do the old this. Token, you have to use a, 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 what do you call it, a phone. In order. So what happens to people, and the people who use the subways, many of them aren't people of means. They don't have a cell phone. How do they pay to get on the subway? Start jumping the turnstile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Larry yeah. Bubbles Brown. Larry Bubbles Brown can't use it. Ooh. And, and by the way, they have yet to, uh, yet to, I have a senior pass. They have yet to convert over to senior passes on here. So I, 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 the I big, can't use it. What? Big, well, I mean, I wonder where the big saving is with getting rid of the cards. I mean, they still have the machine that scans the stuff. No, I mean, they don't. They, many... They're doing away with the machine that scans the cards. So then mm. how, where do you do your phone then? There's a so there's a thing on the legit. front of it. They have them right now. You, it's a thing on the front. Right. You just tap right. it on the front of the, uh, the thing. Right. But that's what I'm saying. That's not going away, right? No, that's not going away. But what right. I'm saying. So the only thing they're actually going away is the actual. That like the that in cash. Right, like the cards. So I'm just saying. Wonder what the big saving is in not making those little cards anymore. I mean, the plastic. They just nothing. You know, right, but that's that's what I'm saying. It's not like they're saving a billion dollars. But but uh, but I just wonder what does this do to people who don't have? There are people who don't have cell phones. They can't Ooh. afford them. They can't afford them. Right. How do I'm they sure get on are. the? How, how do they get on the subway? Who can afford? And them? also <laughs> the the Lincoln Tunnel is doing away with you <laughs> being able to use cash. You used yeah. to be able to throw cash into the bucket or whatever, and go on or hand money to somebody and they give you change they're doing away with that all they're going to do is if you got to have one of those little things on your windshield well suppose huh. you don't have one of those things on your windshield oh you know what happens if you don't have them you just go through and they send you a bill oh, yeah. but how expensive is that over just taking the goddamn money at the station you know yeah they should just keep the guy there like the old times remember just going jersey here's my money i mean i understand the modernization of things but you don't do something that's going to prevent people a certain class of people from using your system you know i see uh, that guys asking for money at the corner street and then they go a couple feet away and they start checking their phone for something it's like <laughs> what do you mean? I, I don't. What do you mean? You know, like the guys at the intersections, you know, asking for money. Mm -hmm. Oh, I lost my job. I just need it. anything will help. You know, you give them money. Mm -hmm. I see the guy go out across the street to the bushes. And he's over there looking on his phone for something. Probably telling his wife when he's coming home. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, right. Hop in his Mercedes and leave. Yeah. yeah. Harley, right. did you go to high school or something on a, where you had to get on a train? Actually, yeah. Uh, for me to get to school, I used to take uh, the 58, which is like three blocks up, and it took me all the way like to three blocks. It was in Ridgewood, all the way about three blocks away from the school, so we would get off and then walk the rest of the way. We so how did you pay for it? How did you have I to? I took the bus every day. You know, yeah, how did he said? How did you have to pay for it? Yeah. Oh, uh, we had a bus pass, so we get like a reduced price. The school would give it to us. Well, wasn't it, wasn't that the time when you could actually give them cash in the in the? In yeah, the, in we the, actually got it like a, at the time they gave us like a school pass, and then you would just show it to the guy. They had a thing in San Francisco on the on the, on the on the on the on the buses and so on. That uh, if you, I remember it because I loved it as a kid. If it was like a dime or something to ride the bus, you just throw the dime into this thing, and it just made all kinds of noise in the. Dime fell to something underneath, you know, and go ahead, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but well, I mean, that's, huh? that's the way I went to high school, except there would be like, like three months or something where they give you a like a, 
instead of using a coin, they give you a strip that you were like, okay, you didn't have to pay. Mm -hmm. So it was very different all the time. Yeah, boy, I it was in that school. They give you a stripper? Not a stripper, no. a strip of... Yeah. I went to all the boys' school. What can I tell you? Oh, oops. But, but, no but I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm wondering if there isn't some kind of a legal action that could be brought against this sort of thing by, by certain racial groups who say, hey, our people don't all have cell phones, okay? A lot of old people don't have cell phones. A lot of homeless. Who else use the, uses the subway? The homeless, of course, well, the homeless, right. you know, they've always had a problem. You know, they never had any money. In San Francisco, they're giving out iPhone 14 Pros to the homeless. Really? What? No, no. No. They are giving out free phones everywhere, though. They were Absolutely. giving out. They are giving out free phones. You say? Oh, yeah. yeah, all over the place. Why? Cheap, cheap Android <laughs> phones. Hmm. Well, how do you how do you pay your bill for the phone use of the phone? It's free. Huh? It's free. It's free. It's free. Free. <laughs> and who gets these phones? Homeless, drug dealer. Homeless. They got one right down here in the corner. They're always setting up a tent, and they say free phones, and they go up there and they give them a phone. And I don't know how it works, but they get them. Uh, mm. <clears throat> I see more homeless people around here with phones. It's ridiculous. Yeah. <clears throat> After they're done with them, you can probably use them as burner phones. Well, when I was a boy, I had right. to pay for my I, my cell phone. Wait a minute, we didn't have cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I, you know, what I remember, my first memory of a phone was we only had four digits as a phone number. Holy shit. Yeah. It, and, and a prefix. Uh, you had, and it was a word. Yeah, diamond two four six. Oh seven. yeah, yeah mine was Filbert uh, Filbert one two five three or something. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and um, uh, the, every phone was just a Bakelite phone. Do you remember that? Yep. And nothing would break those things. By the way, those yeah. things yeah, you could last forever. You They'd could. Chip, act, you, it wouldn't I, break. I don't know if it ever happened, but I think you could actually kill somebody with one of those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they were that heavy. The black ones. Remember the whole yeah, the black. black ones, yeah. Yeah. And and what was oh, I'll right. tell you I'll tell you what was terrific about those phones is and I've said this before, nothing you could do would break them. You know? <laughs> uh, and I wanted to see the I often felt that uh, uh, when I was getting into advertising, which I never really completely got into because I liked radio too much. I thought of a great ad for the phone company, and the ad would be, remember that time you had that fight with your wife? And you yanked that phone out of the wall, and you threw it against the wall? And then when you were through with the fight, all you had to do was grab the phone because it didn't break, and uh, just screw the screws back into the terminal. Back up. And you're back and working again. Well, we're AT&T, and those are the phones we make. You know, yeah. I like it. really, and I mean, it's true. Those things the were indestructible. That's why whenever you got mad, you pulled the phone out of the wall. <laughs> you just went, hey, fuck you. Hey. And then, ah, okay, I'm feeling better now. Okay, get, where's my screwdriver? And you just screw the thing back <laughs> in. Made you feel good. Yeah, That's right. It's a feel-good phone. You grab it out of the wall, you hit the old lady <clears throat> with it, and you plug it back in. Look, there's a... A shadow on the wall of Tony's apartment. Oh, that's cute. My mother had a princess. How did you that do that, Ray? Ray, 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 you don't have any audio. He's got my mother's uh, knickknack cabinet. I got guess. a shadow. Ray always screws around with his picture while we're doing the I show. I like that he got me. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I got a thing from uh, somebody on my Facebook page who was complaining that people... Sometimes, like when people are walking down the street, you do that, Ray, walking down the street or uh, are showing the neighborhood or whatever, that it's very distracting because everybody else is stationary and it's moving and, and it becomes distracting. And in your case, you always have a tendency to use, like you've only got one light on your face right now, right, Ray? 
We can't hear you, Ray. Yeah, keep keep talking. Maybe we'll hear you. If you shout loud yeah, enough, maybe we'll hear you. A little louder. Wait a minute. What? What, Ray? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can't hear you, Ray. We can read your lips. I was just going to say slow down so we could read the lips. Yeah. Hmm. One time I went to... Take I went to France. Throw it out the window. You went to France, yeah. And I, I, I had to meet my son uh, on the other side of this train entrance. <clears throat> and I couldn't find where you would pay. Oh, oh, oh in, a phone, in Europe, here's the thing. In England, great system. I love that. This shows how the, what the British were thinking, okay? You go to a pay phone. You dial the number you want to call. You do not have to put the quarter or the shilling or the whatever into the slot until you get your party. Until that point, there's a bar that's in front of where you put your money and you can't put it in. And as soon as the person answers the phone, the bar goes up and you can put the coin in. Now, I thought that was very honest. You know, like, we're not going to take your money how many times did you use a pay phone and you didn't get the person and then you hung up and the coin never came back? You know? Yeah. They didn't, yeah. that never happened in England. That was pretty cool, that, I that, thought. That's usually the time you find out that the receiver won't break when you hit it against the phone. <laughs> what is what is with Ray's picture? I'm sorry, I'm trying to fix it. I'll just get rid of the fucking thing. Wait, now we can yeah, hear you. Just get rid of that. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, yeah, well, there. What do you have? Only one light or something? Yeah, the fucking lights start. I had to move my desk, and I have no <clears throat> light. Oh, because it, you know, it's like you're. Is you it know. okay that, like that? Yeah, it's much better. Yeah, it's much right, better. Thanks. Yeah, it was getting it's kind of a little annoying. Sorry, little sorry, I, didn't, I wasn't doing it on purpose. Just Somebody's gonna write to Alex and complain anyway. So. Yeah, I know. It's so right. fucked. I'm so sorry. Well, they complain. I got. Well, I get to complain every now and then about oh. Alan eating. <laughs> I really. I don't eat. I haven't eaten on the show in a month. You really haven't. He, he's been very. He, he's been very oh, good I, about that. I watched myself afterwards on the catch part of the show, mm -hmm. and I said, "God, you look horrible eating. Stop eating on the well, show." Here's somebody who wants on called Megan Smith. Shall I try? Oh, oh Megan! Oh, Megan! Megan? <laughs> I never heard of her. Let's see here what the story is. Let's see if it works. Uh, hello, Megan. Are you there? Let's see. Turn on your phone. Uh, turn on your audio. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Stop video. What the hell was that? Holy shit! Well, that was Megan Smith, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, will that demonetize me? That was me. Oh, <laughs> it was a You're picture. It was a picture a of Tony now. masturbating. That was me at the bottom. <laughs> it's not gonna hurt. Oh, it hurts. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well. Oh no. Okay. Now we're going to Josh's show. Hey. <laughs> How do you top that? Oh boy. I'll top it if you want. No, 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 no. Okay. I, I think somebody was running a video. You know. I hope so. Yeah. I, I don't know what it was. Yeah. Well. What was? Was, was it any? Hmm? Was it what? anything? Was it Megan? No, it wasn't Megan. It was some video of some guy. It was Kanye. It was very. <laughs> it, was, it was very. But he didn't have a hood on, so I don't know. It was very fast. When did it happen? Okay. Okay. Let me see. Here. Maybe I'll just edit it out or something. That would be a good idea. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, very good. A very good idea if I edit it yeah, out. Yeah, you can. Tony. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if they uh, demonetize me for that. You know. Imagine they email you and say, keep it up. Yeah, yeah. Keep it Look up. at how Be professional my background is. Yeah, maybe I just won't post nice. this. There. Maybe I won't post the show. That way I won't get into trouble at all. So. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, that was something. Amazing. I don't think goes. I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it was an hour, hour and 18 minutes in. An hour and 18 minutes in. That was horrific. <laughs> Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You, you imagine people actually go online, they wait until I say okay, and then they run that. All the work they went to do that. You know? It, it might have been live. Huh? 
It's a hobby. It's a hobby, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much, Megan. Yeah, really. How stupid. Well, I mean, you know, I do allow people to see the number you can call uh, to get, you know, onto the Zoom. And uh, that, that, that's what happens, you know, that's the downside of it. I've only had it happen, I had it happen, I got bombed once. I don't know if anybody remembers that. And it was one porno clip after another, boom, 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 boom. And finally, I just, you know, I just was very careful. I usually, I don't take names that I don't, I haven't seen before, mm -hmm. you know, but Megan Smith sounded reasonable, all right? <laughs> Well, if it's a woman, you can just assume that it's fake. Yeah. Well, not necessarily. No. Well, for our show, yeah. Yeah, for this show. For our show. No, but I mean, uh, you know, Megan Smith seemed reasonable. Sometimes when I see, you know, uh, some guy, you know, with a, a many times a, a, real, a Spanish name has always been the ones that have been bad. I don't know why, you know, but. So anyway, that's. I hope you don't have this problem when you when you're doing a show tonight, uh, Josh. I don't know. I mean, that was so gross. Yeah, we'll just we'll just block people we don't know, I guess. Well, just immediately hang up on them. That's that's what I do. I'm always ready to go. Yep. And uh, I thought it was kind of hot. <laughs> you thought it was hot? No, I'm kidding. He, I'm he kidding. saw the white hood on the guy's head and said, "That's that's Kanye." <laughs> when it hood. Yeah. No, it wasn't hot. Well, I was that was pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. So, fast was good in this case. And fast was good in this case. Yeah. Did you did you take him off or did he hang up? No, I took got rid of him. Oh, immediately. Okay. I was quick ah, quick fingers. Yeah, it did, wasn't up there for more than two seconds, I think. Yeah, a couple seconds. Yeah. Ray's hoping that you post it so he can go back. Well, and what I did is yeah, I had. I got, well, where, where was that? <laughs> well, I had myself ready, okay? I had myself ready um, in case. He did a screenshot for background, is what he did. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that guy had fast fingers, too. Yeah, well, you know, I got a fast <laughs> finger for him. Yeah. There's no way you can preview the video, huh? What do you mean? <laughs> That hey, I, what do you mean I can? You're watching on your phone. You can, can you lie. preview it before you let the guy guy go on? No. If you go, if you watch on YouTube right now, you can go back. <laughs> yeah. If, if, oh, I'll go do that. Then. Yeah, you can go back. <laughs> oh, you're gonna go back. I'm watching it for ten minutes. You can. Yeah. Yeah. Can I put it on a loop? Yeah, yeah. loop. Yeah. Put oh, it yeah. on a loop. Sure. <laughs> we want we want to see it over and over again. Just screenshot the background. That's good. <laughs> That'll be my new background. Your eyes are going to... Oh, yeah. They, just don't even think about it. You know. Okay. Oh, wow. Well. Hey. Yeah. And if they want to give me a bad time about it, fuck them. It's not my fault. I got rid of them as soon as possible. Yeah. So what about the girl, the pro ball player, that she's now in San Antonio in a uh, some kind of military base where they train you to get you know back into society after being captive for nine months oh here's alex goldberg yeah like i'm gonna trust that <laughs> hey it's a jewish show come on get him on there no alex My cousin hey there he got to the guy <laughs> oh jeez oh submit alex oh, goldberg oh my god Keep yeah <laughs> oh no it's tony Keep again on. It's my oncologist. Nah, I don't. I don't want to. Don't report. Okay, I don't want to report it. Anyway, because uh, if I report it, then then they're going to send me a thing saying, "Well, you know, you really shouldn't put your number out there online." You know, but how are people going to know to call this program if I don't put that uh, that link up there? Right. You know, um, it would be nice if I if they had a system. Where I could pre see what the person wanted to do, you know. Uh, Ray, when you go back and look at that, see if it has a a, 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 a Republican flag in the background. It might have been Phil. Okay. No, uh, All right. Yeah. Yeah. Are you looking? Yeah, I'm looking now. Oh my God! It is Phil. It's it's Phil in a in blackface. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen it yet? Yeah, I have. Yeah. It's it's awful. 
It was it, yeah, what, what was it? it? It's it's some <laughs> dude in his armchair, you know, masturbating. Yeah, well, it's, yeah. I, as quick as and I it's only like two seconds. I thank God. Okay. Yeah, and first Megan Smith flashes up on the screen for a long, quite a while, and then he and then he shows up. <laughs> and yeah. Oh, well, God. you're really getting into this, aren't you, Ray? <laughs> no, no. I just, I just wanted to make sure that that actually happened. Was that? Was it? Was face. it just about two seconds? Yeah. Yes, yeah, just a couple seconds. Yeah. Well, I got rid of it. So. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm. I, 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 screw them. I'm not gonna. I can go on there and edit it out, but. I. I don't think they're gonna even know. Maybe if we keep talking about it, they'll figure it out. Well, they, let's see. see it, that, means, that means someone is watching the whole program. Oh, here. Oh, look. Kanye West entered the room. Oh, I wonder. If that's, he, that's yeah, yeah, this person Maybe. is not going to get in here. They should give up. Even if it's the real Kanye West, it's not going to get in. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like yeah. Point. Like, I'm, gonna, I, I'm not going to think Kanye West is a phony name. Oh, Kanye's calling my show. This is an exclusive. Mm -hmm. Alex Bennett original. Yes, exactly. Yeah, there's, there's, there's it does like three, Jews. I mean, there's at least three Jews in this. Yeah, he could be calling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, what what was the guy's name? Alex Goldberg was it? No, oh, Alexander Goldberg. Right. Yeah. That'll be the next. Yeah. Thing. Oh, I, I was watching that. Uh, Alex, you said the other night the the Megan and um, Harry thing, yeah. Harry thing was really good. Yeah, I it's, watched I'm, it. It's uh, amazing. You like it, and uh, the other Brian that called last night saw it and really liked it, and I really liked it, and Marjorie really liked it, and they, yet you know, it got forty three percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Well, you know, I because I didn't know much about her, but then when you hear the story of her before, how much work she used to do in India and Africa, also, yeah, you know, I mean that that's. For she had some like real, Harry, yeah. That's the ideal person for him, you know. I mean, that's, that's well, she really had some person. real substance. Oh, here's Andrew Steinberg. They're, they're thinking by being Jewish, they're going to allow me to put them on. Be careful tonight. To only put people on you know tonight. Here, I don't even, I'm not even going to talk to my wife tonight. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust anybody. Yeah, what we're going to do is after this, and a lot of you, if you would call, uh, it would be nice because it would help, uh, would help Josh out. We're going to have Josh do a show, and I'm going to put it out over Facebook, okay? It's going to take me about three minutes to get everything up and running, Zoom and so on and so forth. And then just call him. And uh, uh, you know, go over to the face my Facebook page and just see when it comes up. I don't have Facebook anymore. Oh, you don't have. Oh, wait, you don't have. You can on a browser go facebook.com forward slash a Bennett. Oh, I guess I can. I don't know. I've never tried that. Yeah. Oh, here. Oh, here is Adolf Helgenberg. <laughs> Are you sure? Call this the you know, you know the Ray, go back and look at that. That might have been Jack Bishop. <laughs> no, it's Hel Helgenberg. Oh, uh, are we ready yet? Oh no, no. So just call it the Chutba Hour. <laughs> it was Charlie, actually. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, that's cool. No, I mean, I I know. You said Jack Bishop. Well, yeah, but you know, Jack has trouble. <laughs> where's, Never mind. where's Charlie? Yeah. But anyway, so that's what I what you should do, <clears throat> and and uh, and of course, Josh will try and call that number two, and then I just. I just put it up and let you uh, go ahead and what is what is that audio coming up there? Huh? I didn't know, couldn't find that anyway. Uh, and uh, we'll just it'll take about take maybe two to three minutes for me to do it. Oh, here's Jack Bishop entered the waiting room. I don't believe it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> his computer isn't even working. Okay. All right. That anyway, was good, that was a good uh, accent. It's actually yeah, whoever, whoever is doing that's pretty good. Whoever is doing it is listening to what we're saying. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The names they are. that we brought up. Yeah, remove. Santa there we Claus. go. Okay. Santa okay. Claus is going to be Anyway, awesome. I want to thank you all for joining me, and I hope you'll stick around and call and join uh, uh, Josh. Uh, thanks um, very much, Jeff, and thank you, Josh, and thank you, Brian, and thank you, uh, uh, Alvin. 
And thank you, uh, um, uh, Tony, and thanks to uh, Kevin, and thanks to Ray. And if you'd all you give bet. a big wave goodbye, I'll wave goodbye at you. Okay? All righty. There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, they will be um, here. Uh, they'll be here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, probably next, hopefully, with, uh, with Josh as he does a show, which will go out over Zoom on my Facebook page. Okay? In the meantime, in between time, as always, I'll see you Monday for the uh, pop-up show and then next Wednesday, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. Have a nice weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.